Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve problem C kill the monster of educational code forces round 122 division 2. So the problem is basically that Monocarp is playing a computer game and in this game his character fights a monster. And the fight goes like this, the character has initially health HC and attack DC, the monster initially has health HM and attack DM. Fight goes in steps. The first step, the character attacks the monster and the monster's health will be decreased by DC because DC is the attack point of the character. Then the monster attacks the character and the character's health will be increased by DM, that's the attack point of the monster. Again the character attacks the monster, then again the monster attacks the character and it goes on like this. So it goes in a sequence, first the character attacks the monster, then the monster attacks the character, then the character attacks the monster and so on. But do remember that the character moves first, okay? So the game is like this. The fight ends when someone's health becomes non-positive, either zero or less. If the monster's health becomes non-positive, the character wins, otherwise the monster wins. So whichever has health less than or equal to zero first loses and the other party wins. So Monocop's character currently has health at C and attack DC and we want to slay the monster which has health HM and attack DM. Now there's one more thing, before the fight we can spend up to K coins to upgrade the weapon and or armor. Each upgrade costs one coin. So we can, so we can spend K coins and each coin I can either spend on the weapon and or the armor. If I spend the coin on the, uh, on the weapon, then the attack points increase by W. If I spend the coin on the armor, then the health points increase by A. Okay, so each coin I can either spend to increase my attack points or my health points. So the question is, can Monocarp's character slay the monster if Monocarp spends coins op on upgrades optimally? So we can spend the coins whatever way we like and we want to find out whether we can beat the monster by spending the, the coins optimally. So the, op the, the question is just yes or no. If we can beat the monster, then the answer is yes. If we cannot, then the answer is no. So let's understand the problem better with some test cases like we usually do. So let's take the first test case. So this is the first test case that's been given to us. Just checking that I'm recording. Yeah. So this is the first test case. This is the health of the character. This is the attack of the character. This is the health of the monster. This is the attack of the monster. This is the number of coins we have. This is what will, how much my attack points will increase. So this is how much my attack point will increase in each upgrade. And this is how much my health will increase in each case. So how can we spend the coins? So we only have one coin. So let's see. The number of coins I have is only one. So obviously I can either spend it on the armor, on the weapon or on the armor. So that's the only thing I can do, right? So let's do one by one and see whether we're able to win or not. So first let's spend the coin on weapon. So spending the coin on weapon, let's see what happens just. So spending the coin on weapon, what will happen? my attack points will increase by 1. So this will be now 25, 5. So what's the new attack point? It's 25, the health will remain the same because I spent it on the weapon and the monster everything will remain the same. So now this is the, this is the initial stage after making the upgrade. So let's see what happens in this case. Point by point what, ha what will happen. So this has been explained in the problem as well. So let me just explain from here. So 25 to 9 initially it's there and now the attack point of the character is increased to 5. So first the character will attack the monster. This will become 9 minus 5, 4. Now the monster will attack the character. So this will become 25 minus 20 because the attack point of the monster is 20. So this will become 5. Again, the, again our character will attack the monster but the monster only has health 4. So 4 minus 5 will be minus 1. So our hero has won. Okay, so we can just simply say the answer is yes. So here we find that on spending the coin on weapon, we can win. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to check. So what I'm going to do basically, so let me just write that down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the coins in weapon and on armor. So how am I going to start? First, I'm going to give zero coins to weapon and then I'm going to give all the K points to the armor. Okay, then I'm going to give one point to weapon 
and I'm going to give k minus 1 because that's the amount of coins left to armor. So I'm going to check all possible combinations. Okay, so I'm going to have a loop that will give get from 0 to k and the i, the i coins I'll give to weapon, the remaining I'll give to armor and for each combination I'll check whether we're able to win or not. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to check all possible combination. Check all possible combinations. Okay. So first, it's like I said, initially, I'll give zero coins to weapon, all the point coins to armor, then one coin to weapon, k minus one to armor, then two to weapon, k minus two to armor, and so on. Now, in each combination, how will I figure out who's winning? So I cannot use a loop, I need to use maths. So let's see how we can do that. So for example, let's take this case only. So I had here 25, 4, 9, and 20, right? So suppose something like this is given to me after I calculate the new health and new attack. So in each combination, I'll calculate the new health and new attack by just adding the upgrades. So suppose this is my new health and this is my new attack. And for each combination, I want to know whether my character will win or not. So I need to use maths for that. So how will I do that? Let's see, quite simple. So I'll have two variable int monster turn and int character turn. So this will turn tell me how many turns the monster will take to defeat or how many turns the character will take to defeat. So how will I solve that? So for, for, for calculating the turns of monster, quite simply, just calculate the health of the character. So health of the character. So that's what at C by attack points of the monster. So that's like the attack points of the monster is. So if we see, then the attack points of the monster is DM. So at C by DM. So this is the turns that will the monster take to defeat the hero. So how many turns will the character take to defeat the monster? Quite simple. Health of the monster by the attack point of the character. That's DC. However, do keep in mind that this HC is the new health, which we have calculated for each combination. This attack is the new attack point, which we have calculated for each combination. So what I'm doing again is I'm checking each combination and in each combination, I'm checking how many turns it will take for the monster to beat the character and how many turns it will take the character to beat the monster. Okay. Now, how will I see who wins? So if the monster turn, so if monster turn is equal to character turn, then Obviously, if both are same, then who goes first? Character goes first, so character wins. Okay? So if the turns are equal, then whoever goes first wins. Character is going first, so the character will win. Otherwise, whoever takes lesser turn wins. Okay? So that's it. That's all I'm doing. Now, let me just quickly show you my code and how it's working. So, so first I had int and then I figured out that it's 10 to the power 15. So I just removed int and replaced int everywhere with unsigned long, long int. I should have probably removed that. Yeah, but never mind. So <clears throat> in the code, what I'm doing is I have HC, DC, HM and DM, whatever was given to me in the problem. And then I have a flag. This flag is for checking if we're able to win or not. So this is CA the coins I'm giving to weapon and K minus I is the coins I'm giving to armor. Then I'm calculating the new attack. Let me zoom in a bit. So what will the new attack be? New attack will be the old attack plus how many coins we've given and how many uh, points is in increased by each coin. So this will be my new attack. And then what will be my new health? The remaining coins and then the improvement. So I'm calculating the new attack by spending CA coins and I'm calculating the new health by spending CB coins. And then I have monster turn and character turn. So I'm just simply calculating monster turn, which will be new health by DM or new health by DM plus one in case it's not being divided if it's a floating point. And then I'm calculating the character turn by simply calculating HM by new attack. And if character turn is less than equal to monster turn, meaning either if the character takes less turn or equal turn, character wins. So then I don't need to do anything. Flag is equal to one and just break out of the loop. And obviously, if the flag is yes, if the flag is one, then the answer is yes. Otherwise, the answer is no. So basically, what we did was we checked all the combination. And in all of those combination, I just saw whether we were able to win or not by calculating the monster turns and character turns. And that's it.
So I'll give a link to the code in the description. You can check it from there as well. And if you have any doubts, just let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.